Hey y'all, are you tired of doing this? And are you tired of doing this? Well, stick with me. We're going to take care of that issue. Uh, I've got a heavy-duty uh, gate on my trailer because uh, my mowers are heavy. And so they made a heavy gate. And, uh, man, with my hurt arm, I, I can barely lift it. So uh, I'd installed a couple of those, I think they're called gator springs or trailer springs for a buddy of mine. And we put one on his, on his gate, and that didn't do it. We put two on his gate. And you still had to lift pretty good a pretty good amount of weight to get it up so I thought well I'll put those on you know because they did work um, and those are about a hundred and sixty hundred and seventy dollars for a pair and um, so I, I thought well what can I do for a hundred and sixty dollars so here's what I've came up with I found this 2,000 pound winch and I've had it out and I've in inspected it and the thing is a beauty it's a work of art uh, and that's I believe was $79 and that came with this remote control up and down it's a wired remote control but who cares um, it came with this cable guide which I don't think I'm going to use came with a bag of bolts and it came with a big big bracket which I don't think I'm going to use either, but I mean it's it's a piece of 3 16 steel and same way with this mount right here 3 16 uh, Then I bought this Weld-in battery uh, Tray or box and I've used one just like it on a tractor of mine um, That I the battery box rusted out so This is a this is going to go here slide up against here that's my third point to weld 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 and then we'll see how it acts right here if I need to put a some a stiff back right there or something so that's going to go there this is going to go around here and it has two holes in it so I'll, I'll just be able to bolt this down and then I bought this it's a two inch pulley. I was trying to find a three and four inch, but I couldn't find one that looked as nice as this. So anyway, we're gonna go with a two inch. And they had some different ones. You could get a V pulley or a flat pulley. And this is for a cable, rounded. And uh, so I got it. And I think this was $17, but it's, it's nice and beefy. And the reason I got this was because I didn't know once I got this if I was going to mount it to the side or the top and that would require me on the top which what I'm going to do is put it up here now your trailer may be a little different but I bought this pulley because you could take this pin out and you could weld a bolt say on the side here and mount it like this or you could weld a bracket and weld this down or bolt this down so give me a, uh, some options with this so I've already looked at it, um, and it, it really appears that I'll be able to put a, a big heavy bolt right here, latch that onto it. When this comes up, it's up higher, which it won't be, a, there won't be any interference with this pulley. Then when I lower it, I may have to guide the cable to lay in here, but that's a, that's a small price to pay for it being lowered easily and raised easily all right so like i said i'm going to put the uh winch over here cable will come over like this and it's going to drop down so i want to see where i want to uh, position this pulley where there's no interference with the cable rubbing on the frame and i've already kind of guesstimated you know just you know it's not scientific i can always move it but a big bolt sticking out here for my hook and so I just want to make sure that there's no interference which there's not we're way away from any interference but I don't want to move it too far back either and I don't want to move it too far forward so I, 
you know, maybe a half inch reveal here. I mean, let's go three quarters. We don't want it to the edge any farther than we have to. I think, I think we'll go with three quarters right there. So I'm going to center it right in between. And I'm going to mark it. Got me a little uh, silver sharpie so I can see it on this black. So right there. Perfect. And then, uh, all right, we're going to mark the battery box. I'm. This is the best place for it. So I have three points of contact. So it's going to go right here. So I need to, uh, I need to mark this so I can grind that paint off so I can weld. So I can weld this on here because my, uh, Flux core welder does not like paint or uh, um, any rust or the um, the uh, scale. It doesn't like any of that, so it's got to be really clean. So there we go on that. Uh, so with this in place, go like this. Keep it all nice and tidy. I might find something to put this in. So maybe I ought to, you know, like a little weatherproof box or something. And that would fit in here. The great thing about this is if it doesn't work out, I can just re-drill holes. So I'm going to leave it right there. Center it. Mark it. It's not a you don't have to be too accurate. I can drill that hole. I think it's 5 16 uh, bolt, so I can drill it 3 8 Give me a little play. Start with a little pilot hole. All right, so I loaded my bolts up. So... I'm not even worrying about washers or anything, just put her on there. You know, I bought a 2,000 pound winch, and I think everybody's really looking for about a 130 pound winch. This is the best I could do, guys. All right, I just got back from the hardware store. I got a bolt. It's going to go through here. This goes through like that. A hardened bolt, a number eight hardened bolt goes right there. Uh, let's see, I think that'll clear. Yep, that'll clear. Then the big boy right here nailed me. Uh, I got a marine battery so I'd have terminals right here like this to hook the wire up easily. And then... Uh, being a dual post like this gives me a little more options like if a battery goes bad in my truck or I've got one an interstate battery right here that runs the starters and 12 volt system when I get it um, <clears throat> so it gives me some options the only problem is this was a hundred and six dollars but then they hit me with twenty three dollars core charge because I didn't have a, a battery to exchange and then plus tax so we're approaching $150 here so um, when I get done I mean we're we're over what the two springs would cost if I bought them but um, we're gonna be over but I don't think over by you know unreasonable amount for something that's uh, electric got a washer on each side that's a nice pulley double bearing Replaceable bearings, sealed. Another washer, and then the snap ring. So I cannot find my snap ring plier, so 
just have to do it the old-fashioned way oh that's that sprung out now that I've tightened this up so I'm gonna have to put some vice grips on here let's see I think I can get it started right here okay and then bring this one up there we go all right so I got this thing uh, clamped into place and I've got my three weld points cleaned up so I'm gonna start welding so I just finished welding so there we go there there not too bad it might have been a little cold on the thick part but I couldn't get it too hot because I was melting through this thinner metal. But uh, weld right there. So I think we're good. We'll try it out, put the battery in it, see what happens. <sighs> Solid. I was afraid right here might be uh, a little weak to push in right there but it's not nice and solid so it says this is waterproof I think it's weatherproof because I can see right into the switch right here now switches you can buy pretty reasonable I could actually get a true waterproof switch but I think if I figure out how to mount this or put a, a waterproof box maybe underneath here slide this in that'll work but uh, pretty easy here's the power plus and minus and here's the motor plus or minus and you can rearrange the polarity on either one even the battery either one to make it uh, work the way you want want it to work change polarity changes the direction of a DC motor This was a nice little welding job here so I highly recommend that little thing throw around welder okay so I got my gate up and I got a three-quarter inch bolt it'll fit right through here I was going to going to just cut this off and use this you know eyelet right here and then I thought well I'll just do it this way so I can save you know the toe feature there might be a, a, a reason for me to pull something up here um, so I'd like to have that hook okay knock this little burr off here all right let's see I tried to put it down here where I had a flat against here so yeah, so what I'm going to do is weld that in place. I got her uh, welded up, so that should hold it. I bought a one inch nut to go slide over as a spacer, and then this right here. It's pretty much lined up. I'll put a uh, washer on, washer, and I've got double nutted. All right, so I've got it you know a little bit loose but still captured double nut so it's not going to loosen up here on me all right i'm kind of anxious to see how this is going to work so in the up position let's see it would be in that position okay so if i'm going to let it down i'll let some out bring this over oh not bad so then we'll take it down Whoop. and even if let's see if it'll hold in here like this Whoop. 
take this block out. I want it all the way down. Like that. And then let's go up. So then from here I can just lock it in. I can leave this loose. It don't have to be tight. No farther than it has to travel. See I didn't use but just a little bit of this cable. I'm going to take this cable out and wind it backwards. So this will be toward the middle right here. So let me give that a shot. Alright so what I did was I took some of the cable off and wound it where it's mostly over here. So it will line up better. Okay, so my battery is getting pretty low, but it'll still pick it up. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take the battery out, paint the battery box, all this crap, paint it, paint this bolt, and uh, I think what I'll do is... I'll zip tie this all up and um, find me a waterproof container like a food container to put this in for now um, and I mean that's about all I can do maybe I can mount the food container up here or, or maybe an army box that's what I ought to do get me a metal army box a little one and weld it somewhere and just put this in as a, in the toolbox okay so I'm getting ready to paint it so I'm Squirting everything down with uh, brake clean. I took my grinder over and got all those weld balls off. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. And then I rounded some corners off here that were sharp. Got this bolt here. This is this is a little more ugly because I couldn't get the grinder in there with a the flap wheel and you know clean it up, but. It looks all right. All right, the good thing about painting trailers and any crappy metal with black is you don't give a crap. Just get it on there. Get it on there. It all matches. Put it in there thick, see? You don't have any paint runs on trailers. Nope. All right, I've got some of this silicone foam and I'm gonna put it underneath the battery. I'm gonna move the battery all the way this to the front because everything scoots to the front because you can brake a lot harder than you can accelerate. Do something like this. Three, two, one. All right, everybody. So here it is. Here's the final product right here. Um, the battery was way down. I put a charger on it overnight, so I want you to see how it works uh, with a fully uh, charged battery. So. There we go down. Here we come. Lock them in. And I was tightening that up, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to hurt anything. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll leave the links down below in the description. So, uh, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, appreciate you guys coming along with me on this project. So, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.